Okay, so on this problem, it says at a high school debate tournament, half of the teams were asked to wear suits and ties and the rest were asked to wear jeans and t-shirts. The results are given in the table below. Test the hypothesis at 0.05 level that the proportion of wins losses is independent from how the team dresses. Okay, so the most important, I, I know what's hard for students often, so it might be you if you're um, more of a typical student, it's hard, it, I think it's hard for most people to, to know what, which test is this? How do we know? They're all so similar, aren't they? They're all so similar. Which one is this? Well, the most important words are when it talks about the hypothesis or the claim. What is the claim or the hypothesis? Independent. You're testing the claim or hypothesis at the point of five level that the proportion of wins losses is independent from how the team dresses. It's a test for independence. And, and, I, and I don't mean like independent means. There's no means here. There's no averages, right? It's not that one. It's this one. Here's the exam for notes. It's this one right here. Uh, independence. Test for independence. See that? HO is their independent. H1 is their dependent. Let's go write that down. H-O, independent. H-1, dependent. Okay, so what are we supposed to do from there? Um, and tells you even what independent means, in case you're not clear. Independent means they don't affect each other. Dependent means they do affect each other. Go second matrix to get to the matrix menu, move over to the edit, hit enter, select the size, going down first, then across, put in the matrix, hitting enter, enter after each thing. Second mode quit, then stat test, x squared test, chi squared test. All right, so I'll write, write that out for you. So I'm going to go um, second, and I'm going to hit the x to the minus one key that has the word matrix above it. That's how I get to the matrix menu. Hit second, and the x1, which has matrix above it. And then um, when you do, I'll do that. Uh, then go over to the edit menu and hit enter. You want to edit, you want to put in a matrix and then choose the size. Now, how's the size? It goes down two and across two. This is two by two. So two by two matrix, hit enter, and then put in the numbers 22, 28, 28, 22. And then go second in the mode quit button. So you quit that. And then, and then where are we going from here? So after doing all that, it says go to stat, test, x squared test, or chi squared test. So go to stat over to test down to. I square test, which is C. Oops. Chi squared. So not the chi squared goodness of fit test, which is D, just the chi squared test. And hit enter. And when you do, it'll ask you observe, which is uh, and expected. B and then calculate. And when you do, after doing all that, I got a p value. So I got a p value 0.2301. Now, what does that mean? 2301. Well, we got to go all the way on this one. So let's compare to the alpha level. Here's the alpha level. Right there, so alpha is 0 0.05. So our p-value is certainly greater, right? 23 is greater than 05, so our p-value is here. What does that mean? Well, you remember how, how it goes with p-values. If the p is not low, ours is not low, ours is greater than alpha, right? If the p is not low, then HO does not go 
away. In other words, keep HL. And that means weak evidence. Remember that? So you want to have that somewhere in your notes. You want to be really clear on that phraseology. If P is not low, then the HO does not go away. We keep HO. So we're keeping HO. So let's come up here. We're keeping HO, which means what? We believe in getting rid of H1. We believe they're independent, but there's weak evidence. And what does independent mean? Let's go down and make sure we're clear here in, in, from the notes. Independent means they do not affect each other. So we believe the evidence says do not affect each other. What, what don't affect each other? Um, the, how they dress, whether they wear a suit or a t-shirt, and whether they win or lose their debates. That makes sense? Um, my, my son, my oldest son, and uh, did a lot of debate in his high school years. And um, so there's a lot of, you know, you try to persuade judges. A debate is a competition where two people, you know, argue out a case and you try to persuade the judge or judges that you're right and that the, your opponent is wrong. So um, anyway, and so the, what we're wondering about is if, does how you dress affect how many wins and losses you get in debate, right? If you wear a suit versus if you just wear a t-shirt, does that tend to affect how many wins and losses you get? Well, we just concluded from this data that since our P was greater than alpha, P was not low, HO did not go away, we kept HO. HO is independent and independent means they don't affect each other. They're independent, they're separate. So the way you dress and whether you win or lose do not affect each other. In other words, how you dress has no effect upon your wins and losses. Okay, let's, let's find out where's that action. There is sufficient, no, no, no. We had weak, remember down here? Weak evidence, insufficient. Um, not sufficient, that's good. Not sufficient, that's good. Sufficient, no way. It's one of those not sufficient. Therefore, we conclude that, that what the team wears is definitely connected. No, no, it's not, right? Therefore, we conclude that what the team wears is not connected. Yes, it's not connected, right? Does not, does not affect each other, right? We concluded we kept HO and HO said independent. If you're not clear what independent means, go to the notes. Independent means they don't affect each other. If somebody's independent or something is, two things are independent, they're separate, they don't affect each other. So is not connected. They're not connected. What the team wears is not connected, does not affect their win-loss ratio. So there we go.